Look at the meerkats, all looking, look, waiting for dinner. Well, a bit different now, aren't they, the meerkats? They're all looking for daddy. As soon as they hear my voice now, now the meerkats go, I'm hungry. Where's me bloody food? Look at them little meerkats, look at them. They're even beginning to put the little heads up and go, come on, where's me food? Where is it? Where's me food? You normally feed us now. There you go. Open the gate. Watch what happens. A few of them will run. A few of them will, a few of them won't. But they're looking for food now. They're actually coming out looking for food. Why? Because it's my job now to start taking over and feeding them. Isn't it, puppies? Right? Some are more nervous than others. Some are getting bolder and bolder every day. And that's what we want. We want that. We want those dogs to want to be with me. Even at this age now, look, look. Look at them. Anyway, we're going to clean this and give them their food. more they trust me now because I feed them and the food is a primal motivator so that's what we want we want that those dogs to follow me for the food now when I make that noise it means come out it means come out this food but if you think about it it's the same noise as we could use the same whistle couldn't we we could use Pip, 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 pip on the whistle every time there's food. That motivates them to come to you and follow the whistle. So you can tap into it straight away. Now I just make that noise. Because they, they come running then. But then I introduce the whistle because if you use the whistle gently and soft like this, look, they all lift their heads. But they don't know what it's about because they haven't conditioned them. But if I condition them with the whistle and the food, they will follow me for the whistle because they follow me for the food at this age. They are trusting me because I'm conditioning them that when I'm around them, there's food. So the confidence of the puppies is getting better and better now. They're not running with noises in here, slamming doors. We've got the radio on on purpose. It's important we put the radio on for the pups so the pups get used to human voices and not just dogs who are quiet sometimes. The bitch is dead quiet with them. This gives the bitch a break now. She could carry on feeding them, and she is. But they're five weeks old now, and we bring her in and out now, where she can sit out here. This is designed so she can sit out here and not be plagued by these, and she goes back in there when they're whining and they want food. When they don't want food, they sleep. So when they start whining, she, the natural instinct is she goes in and feeds them. But she's separating herself from them a little bit, and it's important that we have the food out here her food and her water out here, not in here with them, because we don't want her snapping at the pups. Because her survival instinct is, I'll have my food, you leave me alone, you lot. Leave my food alone. So we'll leave these pups in here now for two to three hours without the mother. It's important they have fluid. They have water with their food. They can't have dry food without water. And when the mother comes in, they'll have milk as well. And that's what we'll do. But as you can see, they, they, they'll fill up the little bellies, they'll go back in there, and they'll sleep for 10, 15 minutes, and they'll come back out and have another lot, and then another lot. And because it's there, it's free feeding, they know it's there when they want it, and they'll come and get it. If I leave the sawdust in there, they'll walk in it, they'll be eating the sawdust, so I try and just move the sawdust back a little bit, feed them, and then put them back in. Now, in a minute, I'll feed them outside. I'll start to feed them outside and then they'll start to follow me outside, and that's what I'm doing. I'm conditioning these pups for the clients before they even got them. 
So by the time they pick them at eight weeks old, they're confident. They want to play the game. They love retrieving. They follow me and they see me as a leader. But they see me as a feeder. And that's what I want at this stage. I don't want to be a dispensing food machine for them. But at this point, I'm tapping into it. So we do use food, but we use food sparingly. But at the moment, that food is a primal motivator. It's exactly what we do.